Hello everyone. In this video, I will tell you how to use your tablet to the full extent. I am using an iBolt Slide i701, a $50 tablet. I will be connecting this tablet to various peripherals to convert it to a full desktop. So let's start. First of all, we have a tablet stand. It costs around 200 Indian rupees. And we have a complete Bluetooth keyboard which means it doesn't require a dongle you can connect directly to your tablet it costs around 700 rupees and here a bluetooth mouse logitech it costs around 500 so let's connect the keyboard and mouse to the tablet We just have to enter the password and click enter to connect the keyboard via Bluetooth. Since it, it doesn't require any dongle, it can be connected to even to your mobile. It's easy to use keyboard. It has various functions. So you can control your tablet remotely. So let's check whether it's working properly or not. It's working properly. So let's move on. This is a HDMI mail to VGA female connector with a micro HDMI to HDMI connector and the tablet. Let's connect it and see what happens. First connect the micro HDMI to HDMI. Then we will connect the female VGA to the VGA cable, the male end. Simple and anyone can do this. Now let's connect the HDMI uh, HDMI to the tablet and the other VGA to the back of a monitor. If you have a monitor with HDMI cable then you don't require this cable. You can connect directly to the HDMI port of the monitor. Now let's connect this to a monitor. I am using an Acer 15 inch monitor. So here is the VGA cable. Let's connect the VGA cable. And it's connected. Now check yeah, now we'll either extend or duplicate the screen. So you have the option to choose any one screen or you can leave both screen on. So you can do multitasking. So it's done. Now let's connect the tablet to an external hard disk. I'm using 1TB Toshiba Turo mobile hard disk. This tablet comes with 16 GB of internal storage. So we obviously need some extra space. This is a USB hub, this has got 3 USB port and uh, additional SD card slot. Let's connect the hard disk to the uh, USB hub. And here we have connected the hard disk to the tablet. It's a 1TB Turo mobile hard disk. As you can see, 200 GB is already used up. And this tablet supports this hard disk without any lag or prob problem. It doesn't require an external power source. Most tablet requires external power source. For such tablets you can use an external hub with a, a power source. For example you can use iBolt's Lappy. It has got an external power source to support the hard disk. It costs around 
200 to 300 INR. Now let's connect this tablet to speakers. Since the internal speakers is of very low quality, we need some extra sound. So this is the overall setup for this tablet to desktop video and it is a success. This tablet uh, runs very smoothly. You can do all sort of uh, minor graphic. You can run the minor graphics apps. So we have the external monitor, speakers and we have Bluetooth keyboard and Bluetooth mouse. I have one additional USB port left so you can plug in your USB peripherals like pen drive or other things. So overall it is a cost effective setup where you can use your budget tablet to a maximum extent. You can do all sort of uh, office work, minor games and other low graphic requiring applications. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.